Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth. I am a food and wellness blogger over on Hello Spoonful. You can find me on Instagram or on my website, hellospoonful.com. But I am also a mom to a 15 month old and I wanted to share today how I entertain my one year old. I know as a mom to a one year old, I'm always wondering what is everyone else doing? Like, is this all there is? So I went through in my mind all the things that Isaiah and I do, and actually it is a lot, so I wanted to share that with you guys um, because I hope that it might spark some new ideas and I don't know, just spice up your day a little bit. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you never miss another video. And let's get into how I entertain my incredibly busy one-year-old. First up is water. I am just making this a whole category because he loves water, water play. So we have a water table. He is obsessed with it. I just put a ton of water in there. He has so many toys, floating balls. I give him measuring cups. He can just do his thing and he loves it. So whether it's your water table or your sprinkler or he's helping water the plants. When Michael's home, he just likes to be involved in the day to day, but just he loves water. We have a blow up pool, so that is great. And then even like a bath during the day, utilizing the bathtub, um, not necessarily for bath time, but just like letting the faucet kind of run and letting it play with it and putting him in there. Um, just he loves water because it's definitely like a sensory activity. So any ways that you can utilize water in your day, I would go for it. Next way that I entertain Isaiah or that he really entertains himself is with our nugget. Dude has so much energy. Any way that he can be climbing, falling, jumping, running, whatever, it's great for him, it's great for me. I love to wear him out, especially on rainy days when we can't get to the park or something. The nugget is a game changer, so I am in the process of turning my office into our playroom, so the nugget is now upstairs, thankfully. It used to just be like out in the middle of our living room, um, but he is obsessed with it. I wanna get another one, actually, because you can just make these crazy obstacles, and um, I will say the downside when he's this young is that I am the primary person like making up these configurations, and then he just plays on it um, and when they're older like they can build forts and stuff but seeing people have these like wooden Montessori style um, climbers I don't know those like little arch climbing things but I like the nugget because it's like he can climb on it he can slide on it he can jump off it we can build it at things like we turn it into a little tent and he'll like read under there with his book and or like play peekaboo and hide and he loves it Another way that I entertain my one-year-old is through a lot of brain games. So Isaiah actually is a very focused and determined baby. He gets very frustrated when he doesn't understand how something works, if he can't get the two blocks together, but he's determined. So we do a lot of like brain activities. So we do have a Love Every subscription and I can't recommend it enough, but if you cannot afford that, there are definitely other ways you can find toys like this or make them yourself. For example, I took dry spaghetti noodles and I had him try to place them into a colander. So just like getting that thin spaghetti noodle into the tiny hole of the colander. He loves magnetiles. So recently we got magnetiles. We went to my mom's house and she had them and I thought he was gonna be too little for them, but he loves it. I mean, you definitely have to kind of sit there with him and help him along the way but you can just see his mind working. He loves stacking blocks. He loves stacking his ring toy. We have like a little peg, like wooden peg toy. Um, so a lot of just like brain activities, puzzles, that is a big chunk of our day. Um, I really encourage that and I think it's great because he likes to do it independently. Um, like I guess I kind of am contradicting myself because some of the stuff I need to assist him with at this age, but the toys that he can definitely do himself, he wants to do himself. And so I'll just kind of set him there in front of those and then go do something I need to do. If I hear him frustrated or hear him starting to climb up the stairs, then I know that it's time for me to get back to <laughs> watching him. Another way I entertain my one-year-old is with books or I guess I should say he like badgers me to read them until I have read the same book 50 million times. So he loves books. He will bring Never Touch a Monster or he will bring The Very Hungry Caterpillar or can you name this Bible character? He just, he brings me the same books over and over but 
the theme with these books is that they are usually in some way interactive. So Never Touch a Monster has, each page has a different texture, so he loves the touch and feel books. Um, again, I guess that's like, could fall underneath sensory play because they have all these different textures, whether it's like sticky or fuzzy or bumpy or scratchy. Um, he just, he loves it. Or if it's like a Pika flap type book, like what animal is this? Like I'm in the ocean and I mean, it would rhyme. It'd be a lot better than whatever I'm saying right now. And you open it and it's a shark and it's all scratchy like a shark. So those books definitely keep him entertained and he loves them. He will just be like, more, 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 like want me to read them over and over. Um, so that is a big way that I entertain my one-year-old. Another way Isaiah gets a lot of energy out is just outside play. We are constantly outside, whether we're going to parks or we're walking. He loves bubbles. Um, he just learned how to say bubble not long ago. So he just, every time he looks outside, he's like bubble, 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 bubble. And we blow bubbles or my parents got him a little trike. Um, but right now it has like a push behind it so you can push him and then it grows with him and he'll be able to use it as a trike. Anytime we can be outside, whether we're in our backyard, which isn't the best because there's definitely like rocks everywhere and it's super slanty and he's good at walking but he's not that good. Like I don't know if I trust him on this like rough terrain. Yeah, definitely outside play and water play are two of the biggest way that we fill our time. Why have I not said this yet? Ball, any type of ball, basketball, soccer ball, football, volleyball, giant yoga ball, he just freaks out. He wants to play catch, he wants to throw, he wants to kick. He is, maybe I'm just biased because he's my baby, but I'm like, how are you this coordinated so young? Like this tiny little 15 month old just running through the park, kicking the soccer ball, like as if he can dribble and it's beyond me, but he loves it. So we spend a lot of time playing with these different kinds of balls. That is a big way that we kill time at the park. Two things I have to have with us at the park is a ball and snacks and I guess water. Something that's not really a toy, but he loves right now is actually laundry. So I think we are afraid to bring our babies along into our everyday activities because I don't know, sometimes it's like, what can I really get done if they're helping me fold the laundry? And sometimes it's not actually about completing the task as much as it is helping them learn, entertaining them, being with them, like, I don't know. He, I'll start folding laundry and he'll just like pull it down. Or he likes to walk over to the dryer with me and pull the laundry out. And like when it's coming out of the wash, he's just like, confused why it's so wet and heavy. Um, but I think just like bringing them along to your everyday activities is how they learn. Like he sees me brush my teeth and I bring him in the room with me while I'm getting ready and he'll just kind of entertain himself or he'll watch me brush his teeth and then I'll give him his toothbrush. And so I think entertaining a one-year-old is a lot of this like structured play, but it's a lot of not structured play at all. It's just they're just learning life. And so they just wanna be a part of whatever we're doing. A lot of their favorite toys aren't really toys at all. I guess that's just like a little tip. I don't know what category that would fall under, but that is a way that I entertain my one-year-old. I also try to do sensory activities with Isaiah. Water, of course, is a huge one, but when we don't have water, you can use oatmeal or cereal and just fill bins. Like, you don't have to buy. I feel like we see these super glamorous, you know, super cute, I feel like I'm putting myself into this category right now because I am redoing our playroom. But anyways, you don't have to buy the super cute stuff. Like you could just get a bin, fill it with oatmeal, put some measuring cups in there and let him play around. You know, there's also kinetic sand. You could either make or buy Play-Doh. Um, those are great sensory activities. Just things for him to feel like different textures is awesome at this age and you can just like, it's so cool to watch them learning and experiencing these new things. So any sort of sensory play is a great way to entertain a one-year-old. And then a little tip to go along with all of these toys that I have just listed is toy rotation, which is exactly what it sounds like. Basically, I think he gets overwhelmed when he comes downstairs if there are toys just exploding in his face or if the playroom is a mess and they're just everywhere. He's not like, wow, this is amazing, there's so many toys. He's just like overstimulated. So I try to do toy rotation as much as possible or at least just like keep ones more up front and the others hidden. 
So that way he is not getting burnt out on these toys and he is excited to play with them. I also try to keep them in his reach so he has the option to walk up and grab the one that he wants. I'm not just there guessing and like putting toys in his face trying to force him to play with them. He has autonomy to choose the toy and hopefully is not sick of the toy because we've been rotating them out. That is how I entertain my one year old. I know it was a lot of information I feel like I was speaking at like record speed because my battery is about to die. Um, but I hope you found this useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss another video. And until next time, I will see you next time.